All right, as is customary, let's clear ourselves out a bit of space to write. Uh, although, you know, most of this part, as we said earlier, is actually going to be all about solving for TD, so maybe we can actually get by without clearing any space out, but even if we're not clearing any space out, let's go ahead and highlight some important things here. We know i ends up as n or n over 2. Uh, we know we've got an upper bound asymptotically on the number of iterations of order n. We know that the number of iterations is n minus i, except in that one special case where i is n over 2. So that all seems really valuable. Next up, we said earlier that this outer loop goes exactly i iterations. The inner loop goes exactly i iterations. And then uh, inside of here, we don't know just how long it takes in order to call descend from. So we've just defined this new function, td of n comma x, and we're passing in j and k here because j is n and k is x. This function is the runtime of descend from on an input of n and x. So it's exactly what we needed here. So we can actually already set up a summation to say how long this takes. Uh, and I, I can go ahead and do that if we really want. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. So this loop right here, coming off to the side, takes summation j equals 1 to i of, so that outer summation is this loop here. We're just summing over all the iterations of that loop. Then we're going to sum over the iterations of this inner loop. So the summation from k equals still 1 to i, because k ranges from 1 to i, of the amount of time it takes for this inner loop. I'm going to ignore the amount of time it takes to print. Uh, we're constructing whatever value comes from descend from. So however long it takes to print can't possibly be more than the time it takes to construct it in general. So we won't worry about that too much. But we do need to worry about this, the amount of time it takes to send from itself to run. And so at this point, we kind of have to throw up our hands and say, ah, well, that's TD of J comma K. And we can't do anything more with this summation yet. Uh, I don't know if that innermost element depends on J. I don't know if it depends on K. Uh, maybe it depends on both. Maybe it depends on neither. Until I know more information about that, there's nothing I can do to simplify these loops.